Hey everybody, Trainer Joe here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about you've been drunk long enough. This I think has the potential to really turn a light on, help you to see what's going on if, you'll, if you're willing to open up to it. So have you ever been drunk uh, under the influence? Most people have. I don't recommend it, but most people have been under the influence at some time or another. What if you were under the influence all the time? Play it out with me. All the time. From infancy till, you know, and some people are on medication for various things and all the time. But imagine if you were under the influence and it was like you were drunk all the time. And then suddenly at age 25, you stop and you're sober. What would it be like to be sober? It would be strange because you're not used to it. It's different than what you're used to. And when somebody decides, you know what, I need to change my life, I'm obese, I'm morbidly obese, I need to lose 50 pounds, and they start doing it better or right. In a sense, it's like you've been drunk, now you're sober, and you're trying to decide if you want to stay sober. Hey, I work with people all the time, and it's like, am I going to keep going? It's like, well, you've lost 50 pounds, do you feel better? You look better? Everything's better? Yeah. But they gain it back. They go back to being drunk again. In the way that you were relating to food in an unhealthy manner, you were so used to it, it was so much a part of you that you felt like you had to go back. We almost feel like it's involuntary, that we have no choice, it's just who I am, when in fact, don't think it has to be that way. Remember the Matrix and he had the option of a red pill or a blue pill and there was a guy, one guy, he was a mole in the movie, Cypher. And Cypher knew he was in this matrix, knew it wasn't real what he was experiencing, and even said, I know this steak isn't real, but after nine years, you know what I realize? Ignorance is bliss. It's like it doesn't matter. And we do that with weight loss. We try for a while, we're like, you know what, the way it was before, I know it wasn't, but it, 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 let's just keep going that way and see what works out. And it doesn't work out. So you need to realize, decide, can you simply choose to be sober? Can you simply choose a different way of relating to food? I know you're not really drunk, but you have been influenced. You've been under an influence, and you are the way you are because of that. Can you just decide to be different? It's a huge challenge, but I work, I've worked with thousands of people, and so often it's it's sad, it's frustrating. You see them having gone from a place where they really didn't want to be, losing weight, feeling better, and then trying to decide, am I going to stay here or am I going to slowly fade back to the way that it was? Or somebody that really never gets much traction. I've talked to folks who are like, you know what, I just, I like eating this way. I don't like vegetables. I don't, I like eating at night. And I'm like, well, of course you do. You've been under the influence for years doing it that way. For you to begin doing it right is going to feel strange and they're unwilling to push through the strangeness, the difference. If I can share a story, I've recently been on a search for some shoes. And I, you know, I've got a certain way about me. It's who I am, right? It's how I see myself. It's the way I do things. It's my style. And I'm looking for these shoes and and I'm, I'm, I'm wanting something that does it all for me. And it's, and it's tricky because... I'm not sure I can find it all in one shoe. Comfort, warmth, style, edginess, fashion, you know, all this together. And I found myself at the boot store here near Lexington where they sell cowboy boots. And I'm like, these cowboy boots are pretty cool, but I'm no cowboy. I'm not buying cowboy boots, right? Because that's not me. But it could be. Couldn't I go in the boot store and pick out a pair of Fancy boots, alligator boots, ostrich boots, whatever, fancy cool boots, and put on my boots and then get a nice belt with a big belt buckle and a cowboy hat and trade in my car for a Ford F-150 and just be a cowboy. I could. And it's that way. It just is with weight loss. You can either stay the way you were and say, I'm just not a cowboy. Or you can embrace and say, you know what? This is better for me. I'm going to put on the dang boots and get me a cowboy hat. And I'm going to act like this person that needs to weigh this much. Instead of over here where I'm under the influence my entire life. It just is reality. Too many people think their preferences for eating a certain way. Well, I don't like vegetables as much as I like biscuits and gravy. Whatever. If you're 50 pounds overweight, there's something going on there that you have resisted. You've resisted the change because it's just... It's just not you. 
I don't like doing it that way. Of course you don't. I, you know, I need more food than that. Of course you do. When I eat, I need crackers, or I need something crunchy, or I need something sweet. Of course you do. You're under the influence. Are you done with being drunk? Why don't you go into the new year willing to embrace the cowboy in you? I'm Trainer Joe, here to help you train your brain and transform your body. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss one of these, do you? Hey, you need ongoing help, ongoing encouragement. If you haven't done a 21-day transformation, these videos will make a lot more sense to you, and we've got a link in the description for that. Train your brain, transform your body.